Okay, hello everybody. I'm going to do, start doing my Turtle Bot 3 assembly. This could be kind of boring, so I don't know. I'm just going to experiment with it. I'm just going to just uh, put the Turtle Bot 3 together. You guys can watch. Uh, if you guys have any questions, hopefully I can answer them. Um, it could be kind of long. I don't know. I'm thinking about just keeping the camera on the whole time and then I'll do some video editing and so on and probably try to condense it to a video that I can upload to YouTube maybe. So let's just get started. Okay, got all the parts laid out. So got the assembly manual manual here. The total bot uh, three burger from Robotis. Then we go to section number three, assembly manual. It's a breakdown of all the layers. So the first step here is the first, third, and fourth layers I'm going to do. So. One, I need the screwdriver. This is actually included in the kit, so it's really cool that Robotis does that, so you really don't have to uh, buy anything. So, here's basically two sections of the layers, and you just kind of slide them together like that. Okay, so I need an M3 8mm case. That's why I like a well lit surface, it's a different color than the screws and nuts. I also, one of the things I like to do, I try to keep everything in the middle so it doesn't fall off fall off on me. So I'm going to go for layers first, third, and fourth. We're going to go from the top in. Like so. Let's get one started here. A lot of people just don't have the patience to do this kind of stuff. Robotics is not for everybody. Listen, there's like so I can looks like there's a recess. So I push the net into the recess and hold it. Should be pretty straightforward. Tighten it up. That's pretty easy. So I just have to do that. Put the nut in the recess, hold it, get the screw here, screw it, these, these parts are 3D printed, 3D printable, so I'm going to have to try that out, keep repeating the process. the nut in the recess, screw, put the nut in the recess, what I might do is I might uh, take a video of each assembly page That might work. So after I get done with all three of these, I'll pause the video, move to the next page, start the video again. So that's that's done. That was pretty easy, pretty straightforward. Not very hard. So that's done. I'll put it to the side here. Bring out the next one. Repeat the process.
that's interesting the the nuts are silver the screws are black oh yeah this is a screwdriver uh, magnetic too which is very helpful is probably not very entertaining but the toolbot 3 is a new uh, is a new robot so if you're really interested in how it's put together you can watch me for the next few hours put it together so I'm starting about uh, a little bit before 8 uh, p.m. Central Standard Time Central Standard Time here in Kansas City so I'm just going to be curious to see how long it takes Can I get all done before midnight? We might be able to. So you can time me at home. So, plate one, plate, plate three, same thing for this one. No, I'm not I'm not cranking down the tightness on these. But they are tight. So like you see, I'm just holding that in the recess, flipping it over. Yeah, yeah. Pretty boring. Symbol looks pretty straightforward. I, I pre read the, uh, the instructions, but there's just a lot of little small little steps. So, with anything, just kind of look at the pictures. Uh, the Robotis uh, assembly land is usually really good, they don't have a lot of uh, instructions, but they use tons of pictures. I think that's partially because it's a Korean company. So instead of writing detailed uh, assembly, uh, manual, uh, and writing, pictures are worth what, a thousand words. So yeah, that's plate four. It's going pretty fast. So I'm going to go to the next page. This is layer two of four. Okay, this one's a little bit different. Because they want that on the top. Hold that in. These recesses are really nice. If you just you just hold it in the recess, flip it over, and there are, the recesses are on both sides. I hope you can see that in the, in the video. I don't know how high depth the Facebook video is. Instead of coming from the top, coming from the bottom. Really pumped. Really pumped about this robot. It's got Ross, Raspberry Pi, open source. Got uh, LiDAR, lots of cool elements to it. It's gonna be a lot of fun getting this all to work. Got some ideas, adding sensors, maybe adding a little AI software to the robot. Maybe adding some speakers and a, and a mic. Just, it's gonna be kind of interesting to play around with it. So. I think I'm done. Oh, okay. I need these for the first layer assembly. But I 
put these aside because I don't need those right now. So uh, that's page 9 and 10 of the assembly manual, getting the layers together. Now I'm going to go to the first layer assembly. Do that next. So like I said, I'm going to pause it, make sure I have all the parts, and I'm ready to go then I'll restart the video and then edit them all together in the end okay I'll be back about 510 with first layer assembly <laughs> 